Hey, it's Phil the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, we're looking at Maytag. The famous, infamous Maytag Whirlpool. Oh, let's see, where is that model number? Uh, should be around here somewhere. I don't see it. Model number, where are you? Okay, so, I know it's coming back. We'll take a look around back. So anyway, here is the model number, I believe. MF12269VEM7. Serial number. So basically, what I did is I pulled this board out and I replaced all the capacitors. So all the little capacitors, they didn't look bad, but I replaced them anyway. There was a kit I bought. I think I paid like 25 bucks, 20 bucks or something for the kit. And then I bought a kit for the relays too, after because the capacitors didn't, didn't, didn't do any difference. And so basically what I did is I replaced the main high voltage relay and that's, it still has a problem. I didn't replace these smaller relays because they had a different number. It cost me 40 bucks for a relay kit for these. Um, they had a different number so I figured well this is probably the one that takes the brunt of the juice and the shock in the system because it's the biggest one, it's the high voltage one. So I replaced that and it didn't do any difference. I replaced all the capacitors, they didn't look bad, and I replaced this, this high voltage relay here. And we still have the same problem. This is the same problem. The, <clears throat> the light sensor. Okay, so basically if we push it, we go up and all the lights come on. Okay, so all the lights come on there. We go down, all the lights come on. Now if we go here and we go uh, pole here, refrigerator cooling off, pole for three seconds. Okay, so that brings us to the panel out. So we're reading eight. Looks like eight, 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 eight. And if we hold this for three seconds, it does the same thing. So all the lights come on, and then they go off. Go like this, you get a beep, right? There's no other controls in this machine. So, I'm getting a little frustrated with this one. If you know what, what's up with it, um, give me a shout out. You know, I somebody said, oh, you just replace the boards, you know, and <clears throat> I like to try and fix them, you know. I like to find out what's wrong with them so I can fix them and not have to just buy a whole new board. Somebody said, this part here needs to be replaced. And, I mean, it functions. You know, all the digits are showing, it seems to react, so I think it's something minor, but for some reason it's not coming on. So anyway, that's my experience with this one, and so uh, if you know the remedy, please let me know. Thanks for watching.